From nice Jewish boys lost in fantasy, to super Semites living a wet dream, to tired rock bod Billy and to drift in heavy metal shtick, KISS has raised two generations of rock soldiers. Their story is next on Behind the Music That Sucks. It was like shooting a filter fish in a barrel. Social pariahs at their Coney Island Hebrew school, Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley were bonded by their physical abnormalities and uncontrollable erections. At summer camp, the friends learned the secrets of wallet making and Hebrew numerology. They also became experts at the Jewish fantasy game Dungeons and Dreidels. Hey, if there was one thing I can do, it was fantasize. Gene and Paul created a band of fantastic warriors called KISS, an acronym for Kosher Israeli Sex Studs. Expert gamers, the boys won an army of male fans with their D&D inspired performance, Kiss meets the Goyim of the park. The game did little to improve the boys' luck with the girls back home. But a kindred spirit from a mysterious northern land would change that forever. Getty Lee of the band Rush was from a clan of hardy Jews living amidst the mythical beast of Ontario. So I see Gene and Pyle are the look, eh? But they don't know what the girls is all about. So I says, girls? He's all about rock and roll! He was getting Eskimo babes like three at a time. And with such a face! With the addition of musical instruments and a couple of local meatballs, Gene and Paul began to realize their wildest fantasies. It was like shooting a filter fish in a barrel. The team of olive-skinned sex commandos raided the charge like a hijacked jetliner. They couldn't have arrived at a better time. 70s rock, weakened by the leadership of girly guitar geek Peter Frampton, was losing the battle with disco. With their emphasis on hard rock, Kiss were the obvious choice to demonstrate the sex dominance of rock. I dog Donna Summer here. Jean, thou Gloria Gaynor here. Ace and Pete, grow mustaches and bum rush the village people here. Oh. The so-called sex day war was over almost before it began. Kiss enjoyed great prosperity, but excess and dermatological problems soon dulled their edge. Hey Paul, I got circumcised when I was a week old. Did it hurt? I couldn't walk for a year. Soon an enemy greater than disco reared its head. I was like, okay, I'll do spears. But then our lawyer was like, hey, ho, oh, you know how young these girls are? We decided to let the army do the stooping. But Kiss Army soldiers were in no condition to stoop anyone. And the new generation of them had trouble getting time off from their minimum wage jobs. We found out it's not the size of the rock army, it's the size of the army's rocks. And so with the help of MTV, Kiss reached a historic peace accord with bubblegum pop over the disputed areas of the Holy Land, ushering in a prosperous new age in which freedom to suck ass is sure to reign. <laughs>